Hey, pal, I only got $12. Here, take no, it. No, I wasn't going to rob you. I don't want your money. All I want to do is talk to you. Well, that's a pleasant change. <laughs> Look, I heard you say that you were a lawyer. Most lawyers only give a damn about rich people. But you seem like you're different from them somehow. Yeah? I don't know. I want to hire you. I don't have much money, but I got a hell of a problem. Sound like my type of client. <laughs> Herman Cobb. Hiya, Michael Stainback. You got some time right now? Sure, come on. What, uh, what uh, can I do for you? Well, I want you to get a friend of mine out of a state mental hospital. America Papoulis is her name. Her and I are engaged. She came to Baltimore 10 years ago from Greece to marry some guy. It was all arranged. She was only 17. A month later, she was a widow. She worked, she used to work in this Greek restaurant that friends of mine own, Nick and Melina Vovokis. They're like family to the both of us, you know? Anyway, a couple of months ago, America started having these ups and downs. One day she'd be okay, and the next she'd have the blues, crying her heart out. Her doctor told her that she was depressed and that there wasn't anything he could do for her, but maybe a psychiatrist could help. He gave her the name of some guy downtown. His name was Oberlin. She tried to see him, but they told her that he got 20 bucks an hour and that she'd have to pay before every session twice a week. Can you believe it? But then they tell her that there's a way that she can get free help from Dr. Oberlin. What she'd have to do is sign herself in to the state mental hospital that he works at some of the time. She was real happy, thinking that maybe she might be cured. The next day, she made me take her out there. She wouldn't even let me go inside with her. She just got out of the car with her little suitcase and went in four months and four days ago. Are you telling me that she committed herself to a, uh, an insane asylum? Yes. Do you visit her? Once. She had lost weight. She had scratches on her arms. They wouldn't let us be alone. She said, Michael, I made a terrible mistake. I'm going to go crazy. Please get me out of here. The next visiting day, they said that she was too sick for me to see her unless I was a relative. Well, what is it you think I can do for you? If America's crazy, they made her crazy. Why would they do that? I don't know. I just want you to get her out of there, please. Well, if she's in as bad a shape as you say, uh then even if you could get her out, what would you do if you did? I don't know. All I know is that she's in there alone. Yeah. Please. Well, uh, guess I could ask some questions. What am I talking about? I'm new in this town. I don't even know what the law is here. You need a better lawyer than I am. No, you can do this. I have a feeling about you. I want you. Please. Okay, but I can't promise you anything. Good night. All right. Thanks a million. I, uh, 